Today, I've been tasked to give a short introduction to the COVID-19 or coronavirus pandemic. As most of you know, the COVID-19 or coronavirus is a family of viruses that causes common cold-like symptoms. It has been around for many decades and it affects many animal and mammal species and human beings. Sometime in November of 2019, in Wuhan city in the Hubei province in China, the virus jumped from bats to pangolins to human beings. And since then, this new type of coronavirus called the COVID-19 has spread all across the world and yesterday was declared a pandemic. This novel coronavirus is very similar to two recent novel viruses that have spread across the globe in the last decade, including the SARS epidemic and the MERS epidemic. So how is this novel coronavirus spread? We think this spreads from person to person, typically in the form of droplets when somebody coughs or sneezes. These droplets can also stay for several days on surfaces and objects called fomites. If you touch these objects and then touch your face, you can get the infection. The other important thing to remember is patients are infectious even before they have symptoms. So what are the symptoms of coronavirus? There are three main symptoms. These include fever, cough, and difficulty breathing. If somebody has any of these symptoms without any other explanation, they should be tested for the novel coronavirus. The incubation period of this infection can be up to 14 days. That means you can get infected and not show any symptoms for up to two weeks. So the big question that everybody is asking is, how do you prevent the spread of this infection? Here, I'm going to echo some of the CDC guidelines. The first is hand washing. Frequent hand washing with soap and water or an alcohol-based solution that contains at least 60% alcohol is very effective in killing the virus. And as you know, we have to wash our hands for about 20 seconds. The second way to prevent is to avoid close contact with somebody who has symptoms of the coronavirus. The third and very important thing for our employees is, if you feel ill with any of these symptoms and you do not have another explanation, you should stay at home and call your primary care physician or urgent care to be tested for the virus. And the fourth way is to clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces like doorknobs and desktops. A simple solution of bleach and water is very effective. The virus is killed very easily with this simple home disinfectant. So if you do get infected with the virus, what do you do? As you know, we do not have a vaccine or an antiviral medication currently available, but it's coming. So the treatment is mainly supportive, which means you drink plenty of fluids, you maintain adequate nutrition, you rest at home, and use Tylenol and ibuprofen. Also, if you have any symptoms of the infection, you should stay at home, preferably in a somewhat isolated setting. You should avoid contact with friends, family members, and even pets. You should avoid traveling outside your home and definitely avoid public transportation and public spaces. If you do have to go out, say to visit your doctor, wear a mask. Of course, then you also have to clean all the surfaces in which you come in frequent contact with. 
So what are the take home messages? First, I would like our staff and employees to be prepared. Prepare for the worst case scenarios and also to respond in a measured fashion, both an exaggerated response and a muted response are bad strategies and our response should be based on facts and not fears. The second point I wanted to make was all our employees need to get their information from reliable sources. I myself go to the CDC website or the World Health Organization website. I also frequently check the New York Times website on the epidemic. The New York Times website is now available free without subscription for everybody. And it's a great source for reliable information. The third point is stay at home if you're ill or if you have traveled to any of the high risk areas. Fourth, the epidemic is already here. It cannot be contained anymore. What we can do is mitigate the spread, what in epidemiology is called flattening the curve. What that means is avoid a significant surge of infections which can overwhelm your healthcare system. If you flatten the curve, that is, you reduce the infectivity, you can take care of the patients who are sick with the limited resources we have. And the main way to do it is called social distancing. And this is where avoiding contact with somebody who's ill, avoiding large gatherings, avoiding public transportation, and other measures to keep yourself somewhat separate from other people is key to containing the epidemic. And also the simple things like hand washing and cleaning surfaces with bleach and water can play a significant role in keeping the infection in check. And the last thing I wanted to point out is that your administration at Borland Gruber Clinic and um, other people are doing their best to keep our employees and our patients uh, protected. Thank you and good luck.